Hey guys, how are you doing? So a very quick video here. So I'm Dan from Trading with Dan and I just want to show you guys something. Very quick video on basically what I think just happened in Bitcoin. It's pretty simple really. There's not, nothing really that crazy to it. But yeah, straight over to the charts. So as you guys know, um, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of the TD Sequential. It's kind of how I used to trade. And I've been saying to you guys that we're on this weekly nine. Um, so weekly nine so obviously the higher the time frame the the more that they can do to price so if we have a look obviously we we, we obviously know we had that massive wick down um, I'm not on a shorter time frame here um, but I can show you on a on a shorter time frame 30 minute time frame we'll get it so there we go you can see prices all the way around here and then we just get this massive massive wick down but anyway so back to the weekly weekly um, TD sequential so let's ask ourselves when did we when did we last get a TD um, a TD sequential weekly nine and what were the market conditions and what happened so this one this one we got here now we've just had one now and um, we had a big um, a big wick down we had um, we were in an overall bull trend um, so yeah they're the factors that I want you to um, remember and consider um, so the last one was was would have been here this this was a TD weekly nine um, obviously the candle rallied and closed up um, and then as you can see it then trained, turned to a one but this was a, the last weekly TD nine we had so what happened was the overall trend was down we had a massive wick up and then we continued our trend down so that's similar to what we've got now the overall trend is up we have a massive wick down and well I, I propose we're then going to carry on up so let's have a look at the next one so here we go here's another good one so the overall trend is up we have a massive wick down on the weekly TD9 and then we carry on going up we've got another one here another weekly um, sell um, obviously this one um, this one basically was a bit different the market just rallied up through it um, and then carried on going through um, so yeah that was um not a great example of basically what I'm trying to tell you guys but here's another one <laughs> so a weekly TD9 we get a big rally up um, in an overall downtrend then the market carries on down so these weekly TD9s that they obviously are very important as we can see um, here's another one for you guys weekly TD9 the trend is overall up we have a massive wick stroke move down and then we just carry on going up I mean we nearly get another one here T TD weekly 9 overall uptrend massive move down market just keeps going up up here we don't quite get oh we sorry apologies we do get one um but <laughs> at this point we are in obviously a massive blow off top so we do get a couple more weeks up but only two more weeks up and then we do come down so i wouldn't really say this reverse the price um but yeah so we've got an example here um against the trend sell off back up against the trend sell off back up um against the trend um, and then well the trend been down so then so rally and then back down um, obviously this one anomaly but this was a very crazy candle at a crazy time but anomaly nonetheless and um, this one trend overall up um, big move down carry on going back up and um, this one here trend overall down big move up carry on going down so the pattern the high probable scenario pattern here for me guys is move down maybe we've had it maybe we're going to have some more of it i don't know i can't tell you how much further we're going to come down but move down overall uptrend resume resume the trend back up so that's what i think i think this td td weekly nine has a lot has a lot of um just has a lot of relevance we don't get them a lot and when we have got them there seems to be that same pattern of behavior so yeah just all i wanted to show you guys in case you're thinking this is a, that's it that's it we're at the top now we can't that's it we got above 10k and we're going to carry on going down i mean that that is a possibility i'm not saying that isn't a possibility um but just purely based on that analysis of what weekly nine candles do um compared to the overall trend of the market they they have they're not really responsible for reversing trends of the market at, at any, any given point <laughs> any any point um in the past so there you go. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. So anyway, thanks for listening, guys. Remember, not a financial advisor. I'm not a financial advisor. Always do your own research, and I will speak to you guys soon.